Well, former Vice President Mike Pence is in the Palmetto State today, and he's talking with religious and anti-abortion groups on the heels of the leaked Supreme Court Roe versus Wade draft decision. And Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell has the reaction from the conservative leader in Rock Hill. Former Vice President Mike Pence met with members of the Lakewood Baptist Church today for a National Day of Prayer event. He spent most of his time speaking about how faith should guide Christian voters' choices. Thank you for unapologetically bringing scripture to bear on questions of public policy. And ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Vice President of the United States, Mike Pence. Vice President Mike Pence talked with South Carolinians about how religion and leadership go hand in hand, especially around the question of abortion. And let's especially pray that the five justices listed in the majority opinion leaked this week will have the courage of their convictions to right a historic wrong. He says he's proud three of the five justices who indicated they may overturn Roe versus Wade were appointed in the Trump administration. I think what the opportunity we have today with the potential that the Supreme Court could overturn Roe versus Wade is really for a fresh start on the question of life in every state in the country. Leaders on both sides of the issue hope it spurs more voters to participate in the midterms. Political analysts say abortion rights, while frequently talked about, may not be the number one issue driving voters to the polls. Usually in a midterm election, people vote about how are they feeling about things going in their lives, and this year, higher prices, you know, the lingering COVID epidemic. It's often a referendum on the pow party in power. Experts think this week's decisions will make voters really consider their motivations for casting a ballot. I think we're living in the end times. I believe that, and we need godly people. All you hear anymore is bad stuff, so to be here while they're up front just proclaiming the gospel and saying prayer is powerful, it's, it's, just, it's just awesome to hear. Republican leaders say South Carolina would likely ban abortion should the Supreme Court's draft decision become final. Pence says he'll champion any anti-abortion legislation. I really do believe when it comes to issues that are closest and nearest and dearest to the American people, like the sanctity of human life, those are best decided by the people and their elected representatives. Pence will be in Spartanburg later today. He's speaking at the Carolina Pregnancy Center Spring Fundraiser. Organizers say they planned this event months ago, but they're excited to hear Pence's thoughts on the bombshell news from the high court. Reporting in Rock Hill, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.